Home brewing is something that's a little intimidating for some folks. What are you using to brew it? Uh, so the main thing is temperature control. So we're, I'm brewing in a fridge, um, it's in a barrel as per normal, but I'm adding hop tea, um, I'm also dry hopping, which is getting that flavor through. So you're saying uh, you're brewing in a fridge. Fridge is for cold stuff, but you brew, usually it has to be around, what's it, 20 degrees Celsius, isn't it? Yeah, I run most things at 20 degrees, but in my fridge I've got a heat pad. So um, basically the temperature control uh, turns the heat pad on when it gets too cold, and turns the fridge on when it gets too hot, so it's staying at 20 degrees. That's awesome. That, that gives you a really nice, ideal environment. Now, you're saying you've got a barrel in there, but I've seen a bucket. Well, we call it a barrel, but it looks like a bucket. But um, yeah, basically, it's, it's a big bucket uh, with an air, air control device, so uh, you know, it keeps the bugs out. Now, ingredients-wise, you've done all grain as well, or no? No, I haven't done all grain. Um, so I've stuck to the cans, but I've found one I like the Black Rock APA, uh, find it a really good hop, uh, really good bitterness and um, you know that allows me to put my own hops on top to really change the beer and create my, my own sort of brew. Some guys use the Black Rock kits because it's a good foundation and then they use some dextrose, they use some other sugars that they add to that. Are you doing the same or are you doing everything with Black Rock? So everything Black Rock but I'm always using their malt, like their ultra light malt um, because it doesn't take away from the flavour and it's from New Zealand so it hasn't travelled a long way and it's a yeah, bloody good brew. It is a good brew. We found that it gives you a really nice body to the beer instead of just the sugar that you get and you don't get some aftertaste flavours that comes with sugar usually. Yeah, exactly. So the, the biggest thing is actually giving someone a beer and them not knowing it's home brew and they think you've just gone out and put it taken out of a bottle and that's what I'm achieving now, which is fantastic. I'm dying to, to see what your yeah. experiment looks like inside yeah, here. Absolutely. So uh, help us out. What are we drinking? So this is a Black Rock APA. Um, I've made it with ultralight malt. I've uh, done a hop tea with uh, Rewecka and Mochiweka, two New Zealand hops, and then I've dry hopped with the same thing. This is a, a, a bloody good beer. Do you have a name for it? Mm -mm. No name, I mean, I, I like this brew, but um, I haven't found one I'm gonna put a name to yet. Um, I've got lots and lots of ideas to go, and uh, yeah, one day. Joel, thanks for having us, buddy. Yep, thanks Cheers. Very much. This is great.